Hello guys, I just got this iPad Pro. This is the 11 inches, but this one is one terabyte. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it's all about and see how I think of it, how it feels and is it worth the money? <laughs> I think, you know, so it depends on you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it out and here you go. First of all, it feels, wow, it feels solid. It feels good in the hand um, already, even though it's no plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic off. And you can see here, I mean, I like the space gray, but they have different colors too, but wow. The camera feels good on it also, and the hand just touching this without no um, protector cover or anything, it feels awesome in your hand. And this is the 11 inches. I still like the size of this. I think it's a little bit too big. I do like the, I would just say 10. But hey, they don't have this. This model is already like 11 to 12 inches already. So, but I like it. It's still portability, I would think, you know, and I'm still able to carry this around with me. But man, it feels good in my hand. I wish I can just go ahead and, you know, walk around with it <laughs> without no cover or anything. Anyways, man, the feeling of this, the craftsmanship of Apple, I just say, they did a good job. And they have the instruction, you got the brake over here, um, and now you have the charger. And you can see here, um, I can actually plug in and use my iPhone 12 Pro Max, because apparently it doesn't have a brake. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is the one terabyte. Uh, my iPhone 12 Pro is only 512 gig. Um, I really want a one terabyte, but it don't come with it. So this is gonna be my second my editing tool to go hopefully we'll get um premiere or also i would say final cut pro would be interesting for uh using it for the ipad pro to go so is it really worth getting the one terabyte and i would say yeah i mean it really depends on you if you like to do editing especially me i have you know drones and other stuff and also not only that like i still want to add movies in here and I'm, maybe if I'm like to go, I put my son's videos or movies or anything that I want to do. It's going to be in this iPad Pro. And also, guys, um, I want to do some blogging with this iPad Pro also. Because the camera, I want to see what it can do. Maybe I add like indie filters. Maybe I add like something, a kit to it. Or maybe a blogging kit, you know, just to see. If this is already shooting 4K 60, guys. I mean, you know, I think blogging can also be used on this or you can use this as a a camera a second backup camera but i'm gonna go check it out on these two cameras here what's what i can do you know for it and yeah um super excited man and i'm gonna go ahead it's gonna be my tool also and i'm gonna use this on my drones you know like especially with my mavic mini 2 and also my mavic air 2 and also my, my Tello drone. So <laughs> it's going to be worth it for me. Not, not only, you know, I can just go ahead and do other things. You can do multiple tools with it because it's actually a tool that you can also use for multiple things. So definitely, I think it's must have. But especially if you want to go ahead and add more 4K videos or anything like that, it would help it if you can just put everything in here. Um, is it going to be for one terabyte worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the field again. I just wanna say thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and share.